Hey everybody, this is Nicholas. I am at the range right now with my new Glock 43X. Still stock from the factory. I haven't done anything to it because I figured I wanted to take it for a test drive before I started putting up all the upgrades on it. So anyways, let's get to it. First shots, see how this feels. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, so I definitely was aiming here. Pretty, not super rapid fire, but consistently aiming here, and I'm definitely shooting a group that's lower to the left. So let me see if I can work on finessing this and where I need to be aiming in order to be hitting center X. All right, so right now I am going to do more of controlled shooting. I switched up the ammo to a Remington range. I was using Herters. So we'll, we'll see if this helps at all. We're going to be aiming at the head. All right, so second round with the Remington, and I do have a jam. It's a double feed. Hmm. All right, so with the Remington range, second jam, first magazine. It's a failure to eject. All right, so that second mag had no issues. So that was interesting, uh, considering that the first two magazines that I ran with the Herders had no issues, but the very first magazine I ran with the Remington, I had two failure to ejects. Um, interesting. So, and I did clean the pistol last night, so it's not like it has too much lubrication. So I'm gonna go ahead and run two more mags of the Herters. And then two more mags of the Remington to see if maybe it's just new gun blues that needs to have some issues worked out or if it's something I should be really aware of. We're gonna go slow, steady. Shoot at the balloon, starting with the herder. Okay. 
Okay. Second mag, herders. Bottom green. <laughs> Jam. Failure to feed. Okay, not a bad little group, one little flyer. Alright, so as I load up these magazines, look at those compressions. I feel like this is an amazing pistol as far as shootability goes, and the trigger really is quite surprising. Honestly, the reset on it is so short that I've actually had some uh, reef or some follow up shots that were a little unintended uh, because the reset was so short and I feel like the pull on this is actually pretty light as, as far as the trigger weight goes. However, I have now had two magazines, one magazine that had two failure to feeds or failure to ejects and then also, and that was with the Remington range, and then now I've also had a magazine with the Herders range ammunition as well. Uh, now, the last one was a failure to feed. I believe the first two were failure to eject. So I'd have to go back and watch the video. However, it does make me a little bit nervous having this type of issue for a concealed carry pistol, right? Uh, but I am going to be, like I said, you know, upgrading this with Shield Arms magazine, magazine release button. Um, so maybe, maybe that will solve some issues. I cleaned the pistol in the middle just to make sure the extractor was clean and that wasn't what was causing my problems. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Has anybody else had this issue yet? Yeah. Groupings are definitely tightening up. Moon, blue, right. Oh, we had a failure to fire. So we have a hang fire. And we might be in some trouble here, folks. goes. All right. Okay. So that is interesting. Um, so this is a prime uh, a shell casing that fired correctly and it's hard to see but the uh, can't really focus but the, the primer strike is pretty much in the middle of the primer from the firing pin. Now this is the one that failed the fire and this one is off to the side as you can see there so I'm having some issues with this pistol right now I and mean, it's making me a little nervous for it to be a concealed carry all right everybody this is gonna be the last mag for me we'll go uh, top pink balloon
with all those balloons. Not bad grouping. I will take that. If I could just ensure that this pistol is going to fire and feed and eject correctly every time, I am happy with that type of grouping with a three inch barrel.